Hello and welcome everyone, this is Dr. again with another lot of following video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily defeat the Judge Cleric. Well, there she is, and we are going to experiment by throwing a lumpy hammer at her to see if she gets damage. And if she does, then we can chase the boss from here as well. But let's see, uh, I'm not going to do it more. Just This is just an experiment to see like if her health bar goes down. So here she is. So her health bar hasn't gone down, so you can't do anything from staying far away. So you have to basically get into the arena to defeat her. Now, she is a two-phaser, so her first phase is quite slow. As you can see that she is using a middle range sword and a long spear to attack you and it takes a lot of while to recover from uh, these attacks so it, it, it will definitely uh, give us a chance to uh, dodge in between and uh, to attack her after she makes uh, these attacks but right now uh, I'm just trying to see how much damage I can uh, give her with a charged uh, double handed sword uh, i'm using by the way sword of skin and tooth so this is a very powerful sword if you are using it i mean this this is wonderful so just let's give her some damage and see yeah, it gives a decent amount of damage i mean yeah and she's on fire now so that's an additional damage so now for the technique uh this is the first phase of the boss now she's entering into the second part of her first phase where she is going to use this radiant magic and we are going to dodge uh, all, all of this magic and uh, I, I have just put up this fire on my weapon because I, I can see that uh, this fire is giving her a lot of damage so uh, the first phase is pretty easy I mean you just have to uh, dodge and you have to attack her with the melee weapon that's the, the real thing comes in the second uh, phase of this boss where she turns up into an evil witch and uh, she will uh, then use the inferno magic I will show you now these are uh, the attacks I mean they are pretty similar to what um, Pieta was doing uh, the same radiant thing obviously but that was a bit of different this is circular that was more linear attack so I mean these are quite easy to uh, avoid so just okay so this is the same as uh, the uh, abbas ursula was doing so let's give her some damage oh my goodness she it was a bit of late of timing i think okay so she, a couple of more maybe yeah okay so we have defeated the first phase the first phase is done now so let's enter into the second phase now here she will turn into a your witch and then she will use the inferno magic against us so i'm going to use uh now you will see that she she also uses lots of fire and lots of uh these long range attacks uh in this she's using the spear more than the sword and that, that that's because um uh, we are going to stay away from her because otherwise uh, we won't be we won't have a chance to recover so i'm going to use my uh, lumpy hammers to give her damage now the thing is like when you use these lumpy hammers she can dodge the first one but after that uh, she she takes up the attack uh, for a couple of uh, for the couple of lumpy hammers that you throw at her so the first one usually she dodges but the other two that you throw at her uh, she takes up uh, the damage for that she doesn't dodge that so just make sure that you are uh, dodging and staying away from her and throwing lumpy hammers at her just have a look at this now these lumpy hammers uh, these are enhanced lumpy hammers which are going to give her lots of damage uh, you can see like every damage is for 500 plus damage and now she's again entering into the second phase uh, so let's okay so now this attack i mean this attack uh is you have to dodge it two times the first time you have to dodge it forward and the second time you have to dodge backwards to avoid this damage otherwise you will take it so just make sure that you are doing it um and just stay away from her just throw these lumpy hammers you can see like the, the, she's avoiding and she is uh dodging the first one every time but for the second one she always stay uh there and she takes the lumpy hammer let's see okay so this is the first one now second one she always takes it so it's it's just like you throw one as a vest and the other one is always uh, a hit and if you are charging it that will give her a lot of damage now this attack it keeps on following you so make sure that you are moving you are not staying uh, at one place you can also uh, destroy that spear to uh, uh, to end her uh, this uh, inferno phase but I mean it's a bit useless to do that because like she would be chasing you and uh, so it's rather more easy to throw these lumpy hammers at her while staying away from her than to destroy the spear to end her inferno phase you can see like yeah we have already taken up half of our hp and i mean she's just li literally doing nothing i mean <laughs> The only thing that you need to take care of is like you need uh, ammunition pouches uh, to uh, to deal with this boss uh, in this um, second phase. Now let's see. Um, she's just. I mean, it feels like that I'm. <laughs> 
I'm toying with her maybe. <laughs> She's using everything. I mean, she just keeps running behind me and I, I get just get away from her and throw a hammer at her head. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. I'm going to see. She just hit me. She, she might have my words, I think. <laughs> well, but still then you can see every time I throw my uh, hammer, first she dodges, the other one she takes it. So, so make sure that you are doing it uh, appropriately you just don't worry about uh, uh that she's dodging your uh, hammers and all the stuff she does that every time and now there is the spear you can see uh, just in front of me if you want to destroy that then that will end up this uh this infernal phase but i mean again as i said uh, earlier that it's it's a bit useless because uh, she will be chasing you and this uh this wire that will also come behind you so you don't have to take uh to take that thing i mean just stay away and uh, keep hitting her now, as you can see that we are in the last phase of the boss and only 25% of our health is remaining. So I think we are comfortable. Oh my goodness, I just ran out of my stamina. Oh. Uh, well this thing uh, obviously you have to take care of because like we are rolling uh, and we are just avoiding and staying away from her and then throwing our lumpy hammer so definitely that is going to take up uh, the uh, stamina so just make sure that you have the stamina otherwise I mean you can be trapped uh, in between of her attack and uh, then you might take some damage well I think uh, we, we just have to give a couple of more damages and then she would be done let's see I'm going to try to hit her now uh, this one okay she dodged it as uh, she always does and this one she will take and now the last one i'm going to hit her now ah uh, yeah that hit i mean i just hit her and while she was airborne well we have defeated the boss and as you can see that this is very easy technique and you can easily defeat this boss uh i hope that you like the video if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more lots of fallen related videos thank you for watching and have a very nice day